Hello, we're going to cover four very, very similar, in fact, you could argue the same sort of terms on information sources. So a source is where we get something from. And the first pair are internal versus external sources. So do we get it internally? Do we get it externally? And internally is coming from within an organization. So if you've got an internal source, it means it's somebody else or something else which came from your organization. So for example, if you're working for a company, if a report was written from the accounts department, the finance department on the organization's finances, that would be an internal source because they work for the company, they know about the company, all they're producing is about the company, it's all internal. And often this will be a bit more confidential because it relies on internal data. Whereas, as you would expect, an external source comes from outside an organization, so usually based on public information. So an example of another report, but an external one might be from the government where they publish something which anyone can view is often a little bit more accessible. Sometimes you might pay for an external source and it's private for you, but it's come from outside of your organization. So those are fairly simple terms. I think in terms of reliability, you might trust internal sources more but you might equally need some expertise coming from externally, right? If your organization hasn't got particular skills, you might pay for an external person or external company to support you. So it's not necessarily internal is good, external is bad, it kind of depends, but you might trust internal sources a little bit more. Now the other two terms we're going to look at, you could argue they are just the same term, just rephrased. So primary data and secondary data. The reason I say that is primary data is where it's collected by somebody inside your organization, so is an internal source effectively. So just to give another example, this might be something like a staff satisfaction survey. A list of questions going out to staff about how they're feeling, that would be primary data because it's collected by somebody in your organization. So again, is an internal source. Whereas secondary data, is going to be collected by somebody outside of your organization. And so you're kind of relying on them having done things properly. That's when an element of uncertainty can come into it because you're kind of trusting they're going to have collected it without any bias and it's going to be accurate, but you can't tell that directly. So an example might be you paying for market research coming from an agency, the sort of people who might stop you on a street, get you to do a survey. But if you're buying that data, you can't guarantee it's totally accurate, but you're hoping it will be. So you might save some money by going for some secondary data, and it might be useful, but again, there might be a slight risk that it's not the most accurate. It might be a tiny bit biased.